Welcome to House Doctor, the show to watch if you want to sell your home. Each week we arrange a bout between hard-hitting real estate stylists and Maurice at a home that just won't sell. Put them in the ring, step outside and watch them slug it out. Go oh, blimey, love a duck, me old China. We're in South London. Which is home to many of London's top attractions like the Millennium Wheel, the Tate Modern Gallery and the Millennium Dome. However, this week we're in Brixton, which used to be a bit of a rundown area, but now is extremely popular with those trendy young professionals who've homed in on the good transport links, fine nightlife, and of course, the competitively priced property. Yes, Brixton is the place to be, which is why houses here usually get snapped up within a couple of weeks. Good afternoon, Charles Gordon Estate, Steve Garner speaking. May I help? I say usually, but the property that caught our eyes has been on the books of estate agent Steve Garner for nearly eight months now. You enter the property through the communal door, the flat on your left, which is the flat we're selling. The first room on your left is going to be the master bedroom. Moving down the corridor, you've got the bathroom, which is the next room. And then down the corridor, you've got the kitchen. It's a nice, long, narrow kitchen. And then to the back of the corridor, you've got two further bedrooms, a single bedroom and then a small double bedroom. And then you've got a lovely 20 foot by 10 foot 8 reception room this great long room overlooking the patio doors onto um, about 40-foot garden. The three-bedroom flat is competitively priced at £235,000. The flat is owned by Will Lusty and Stephanie Roberts. Will and Steph parted company earlier this year and Steph moved both herself and her things out. However, the two have remained great friends and are both keen to sell the flat and see what the future holds. Will is a furniture maker and enjoys painting. Steph is a social worker. I caught up with Will and Steph the next day in their favourite coffee house for a medicinal cappuccino. So, Steph, you moved out six months ago, which means yeah. that, Will, you've been living there with your male roommate, Matt, mm. for the last six months. That's right, yeah. And I get the impression that standards have started to slip. Could that be true? They Certainly slipped have. pretty much instantaneously, actually. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. And Brixton's gone through a bit of a transformation, hasn't it? The property market's gone haywire. Yeah, massive. Yeah. Mm. Mm. In so the last two or three years, it's gone ballistic. So what did you buy it for? 81. And it's on for? 235. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> and what about the whole idea of the House Doctor show? I mean, basically what we're saying is that you need to invest a little money in the house you're about mm. to leave in order to make it sell for the price you want. Mm. Do you subscribe to that? That seems like a good idea. Mm. It needs a bit of work, so therefore mm. investment. In it. Right. Not an awful lot, but it needs what we hope Anne can advise us on. Anne Maurice is quite a particular real estate stylist from California, mm. land of the clean and free. Mm. Um, do you think she's going to be scandalised by the, by the level of dirt? Yeah. Even as we spoke, the house doctor was being delivered to us post haste. Michael Caine, eat your heart out. Hello, come in. Thank Hi, you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet come you. You know, it was sunny this morning. What happened? Well, you brought it with you. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> this is our um, communal hallway. Mm. Well, I'm glad Good you said press. that because you're obviously not responsible for this. I'm sure your flat's gorgeous. Yep. Do or you come wouldn't in. have called me, right? Quiet. Come through the hallway. Yeah, well, it doesn't get any better, does it? I mean, these conversions are awkward anyway, but to show your house, unfinished ceiling and peeling wallpaper and this just sort of dumped on the floor. So where do we go from here? Okay, this is the most effective. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is really yeah. nice. It's a beautiful room, but your presentation definitely lacks something. Well, it's, it's lived in, at least. It's very, very male. When I was here, it wasn't like this. The truth is, you are trying to sell your house, and yeah. this is no way to present a room. Well, OK, maybe it could be a bit tidier. A bit. A lot tidier. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we move on? Sure. Thanks. I'll see you. The bathroom. There it is. You should be embarrassed. Yeah. To I agree with I am you. a little about this, but... Mm. I mean, it's a grey suite, which kind of doesn't really do much for it, does it? <laughs> I'm not talking about the suite. I'm talking about the filth. This bathroom needs a, what would yeah. you call it, deep clean? A deep clean, yeah. There's One nothing bathroom. more off-putting than a filthy bathroom. 
Okay, wait till you see the kitchen. Well, it's got to be better than the bathroom, I hope. <laughs> I mean, this only makes the hallway look smaller, don't you think? I All this right. clutter. We've yeah. done a lot of work on it now. <laughs> At one time. Work making it cluttered is what you did. Ooh, it's a bit dark in here, yeah. isn't it? We've got a wall right outside these two wonderful windows, but... Yeah, it's the house next door. But it brings in a lot of light, that. Some reflects off the white wall and through the windows. It'd be better if it weren't yeah. there, though, wouldn't it? This kitchen is an abomination. Um, I mean, I sound like an angry mother, don't I? <laughs> I'm always scolding this poor boy, feel. but, you know... I mean, are you kidding me? What you don't want is a buyer to walk in here and think, immediately, I've got to spend 20,000 pounds on a new kitchen because this just won't do. You've got some work to do in here. Not a lot. Okay. Once you clean it and put all the clutter away. Right. Shall we move on? Sure. All right, so let's go see the remaining bedrooms. Hmm. Trip on your bicycle there. <laughs> So what is this? This is the box room. The box room. Every house should have a box room. Just kidding. <laughs> this has got to be cleared out. OK, you're all packed, ready to go. Hmm. There's a few things here I think we can use. But overall, we're going to turn this into something useful and presentable. Great. OK? Yeah. OK. Moving right along here. So where are we going now? OK, this is Matt's room. Oh, your flatmate. flatmate. Yeah. Mm. Well, a quick tidy in here. But other than that, it doesn't need yeah. anything. Mm. Not bad. OK. Well, this so, is an odd place for your office. <laughs> yeah, well, it was in the box room before it was Before bedroom. the box room got too full, <laughs> right? Exactly. That's it, yeah. yeah. We're going to have to clear this out because yeah. this is just so poorly presented. Let's see the sitting room. I still have hope. <laughs> I still have hope. I'm going to find one room. Well, what do you think? Um, well, it's not the worst room in the house. Mm. We're making progress. See, I quite like this room, actually. It's a beautiful room, yeah. and I love the fact that it opens up to the garden. Yeah. Mm. But again, cluttered, and you... Now, here's a question for you. You would not have this out here if someone was coming by to look at the house, would you? Uh, I have done, yeah. But it was raining, so I had to bring them in. You're hopeless. The floor is nice. It's a good size. The furniture arrangement is terrible. In fact, you're missing some strategic pieces of furniture, and you've got a lot of extras here. So I think, you know, with a little bit of work, mm. different color, obviously fixing... Um, the lining paper. Lining paper. Yeah. The wallpaper, yeah. Other than that, I think this room has the most potential. Yeah. Ooh, what a surprise. <sighs> Fantastic space. Isn't it great? Yeah. Terrible it's condition. Wonderful. Buyers have no imagination. And if you want to get your highest price for this property, you're leaving money on the table by neglecting the condition of this garden. So what are your thoughts, man? Here we are in Brixton. You're marketing this flat to the young, sort of hip moneyed set. And also the type that wants to move right in. They're busy people. They don't want to have yes. to spend weeks or months or thousands of pounds fixing up a place. And I think that's why the house hasn't sold. Well, Anne's not the only one who's been looking around your house. We also have a tape of some viewers <laughs> as they looked around. Let's see if they say the same thing. Well, this isn't the most welcome in the entrance halls, is it? Yeah, that's rubbish. This could be nice, but it isn't. Yeah, you don't have to take that off. And just it away. Away, huh? This is dismal, and it's it's not welcoming. She doesn't hold back, does she? <laughs> I'm nice. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's it's depressing, and it feels unloved. <laughs> At this price, I, I'm not looking to put in that much work. Oh. I wouldn't be surprised if there's rats in here. This is just a nasty, grubby house. It's I suppose you could have it as a study or something if you cleared all this yeah. rubbish out. It would be so nice if they tied it up. Why don't we go? Yeah. Impressions of the house. Dreadful, really. It's yeah. just too run down and we're not prepared to sort of spend a load more money no. fixing it up. So. Very dubious about the the structure because the decor is in such a bad state I think that perhaps there are underlying problems that I don't know about Good grief <laughs> <laughs> you're laughing and well, you're not sense. looking you're not looking that amused I think the key point was the woman that said <clears throat> excuse me this makes me suspicious I yeah. wonder yeah. if I see this 
Is there What's damp in the walls? Yeah. What's mm. wrong with the heating? That was interesting, actually. Yeah. I yeah. wouldn't have and thought of that. Those are what we call red flags. Yeah. You don't want to raise red flags. Yeah. We all have the same interest here. We all want to get the house sold for you. So I think, um, you know, we're going to have to get with the program. Mm. What is the program, man? Oh. <laughs> well, the first thing we're going to do is declutter. Mm -hmm. um, clean everything. And then we've got some work to do. We've got to do some DIY jobs. Um, particularly in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Some lighting, definitely, because the house really is dark. Mm. And um, some decorating. Moving around furniture, maybe do something with that carpet. Um, and the garden. I mean, this really is a case of not making use of what you have. I and mean, you're in the furniture business and look around you. Mm. Your flatmate is what, a landscape architect? Correct. Oh, I saw that garden. You could have fooled me. You know, so you have the resources, but it's just now the time has come to use them. Mm. And so the deep cleaning and clearing of eight months of male neglect started in earnest. The effects of this outrageous male laziness had to be stripped and removed before any transformation could begin. John is after the break to see how Anne and Steph bring a little feminine flair into the male ambiance of this Brixton flat. <clears throat> oh, hello and welcome back to House Doctor. I'm here in the garden in Brixton doing some research and the team are hard at work inside the house doing... You know, I have no idea what they do. So I had a quick peek and the transformation of a dark and dirty flat is well underway. The rubbish and clutter is gone and work is in progress. Will thought that just tidying up would be enough. But Anne has got other plans. What would you think if I suggested moving your bed? This is, according to Feng Shui, probably the worst place for your bed. Uh-oh. And now here comes Steph. Do you get the impression that Will can't be trusted? It's amazing. I hope you've been helping, Will. I've been pulling my weight. I've been pulling my weight. Good. I don't know why I'm painting this, but <laughs> it's Anne's concept. Raw liver. At least the garden provides male sanctuary. Or does it? How's Anne been? Uh, Anne's been uh, quite challenging. Really? In a way, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> you know, she's been ordering everyone around to get stuff done and change stuff when we've done it. And, okay. You know, make sure it's just perfect. Oh, isn't that nice? Steph must be feeling sorry for Will. I started to feel a bit guilty and I thought, you know, get yourself round. Meanwhile, Anne's unearthed a catalogue of Lloyd Loom furniture, which is actually manufactured by Will's parents. I can't believe you didn't tell me this. I mean, I knew you were in the furniture business, yeah. but there are some fantastic pieces in here. Well, I'm glad you think so. None of which are in your flat. True. Yet. And so they were off to the Cotswolds, to the family business, to pick up a few odd sticks of furniture. I like this, maybe. Yeah. But I also like that. They're completely different looks. Can you unravel that yeah. a bit? While I sit in this and see how comfortable it is? This. Now, Will was lucky to have free furniture on tap, but it's worth bearing in mind that, like Will, you can also beg, steal or borrow furniture or anything else from friends or family that will dress up your home to make that all-important sale. But arriving back in Brixton, Will gets a stony reception. Right, so what is this, then? <laughs> no idea. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, a pebbles. pebbles. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Very... Oh, it goes with the sort of peachy, uh, livery walls. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. It'd be just like being on a beach. Poor, beleaguered Will seeks solace in his staple diet of furniture making. He's finishing off one of those DIY jobs that we all seem to avoid. Meanwhile, Anne's got a tip for dealing with a window without a view. What we're doing is making an etched glass window very easily with this film. And we're spraying it with washing up liquid and water. It's see-through, of course, so mind you don't lose it on the floor. Now we're going to spray the same liquid on the window. So you've got both surfaces wet. Thoroughly, but not too wet. Nice and even. And within seconds, when both the window and the plastic are coated with the washing up liquid and water spray, it's a simple task to apply the plastic onto the window and give it that etched glass look. All right. And then get the bubbles out. Well, I can't believe if you know how to do this, you didn't think of it sooner, you know? This is going to help make the sale. I was quite happy with the wall, actually, but yeah, I prefer well, this now I've seen it, you know, yeah. it's a lot better. Just time now for Anne to add her all-important finishing touches. 
those final elements of presentation that make all the difference when showing your home. Hi, Alistair. Hey, Anne. I'm back in Brixton. Did you miss me? Terribly. Actually, I missed your help. There ah. was a lot of work here, starting with the hall. Even the hall? This is the communal hall, not even the flat. Yeah, but those first impressions do count. So we cleared out all the rubbish. A little area here for all the mail, six for the six flats. Lick of paint and a mat that marks the entrance ah. to the flat that we're going into. That's delicious. It says, come in, come in. Come hither. Let's start with the bedroom, because oh. we didn't do a lot here, but I think it made a huge difference. Oh, I like this room. It's nice. Very soothing. I yeah. mean, we used all of Will's things except for some new bedding that we got. Mm -hmm. Again, played off the color scheme that was already here, but opened things up because he kept the shutters closed. Mm. The bed was against the window, and it just felt wrong. Mm. So we relocated a lot of the furniture. This is very. Is this his piece? He did that. Yeah. He's very talented, our Will, isn't he? Multi-talented. Multi-talented. Yes. This is nice. Mm, that was here also. It was lying on the floor. How do you like these colors, by the way? Very strong. What's yeah. This is a dado, isn't it? Yes, oh, and nice. I think the dark on the bottom really balances the room a bit. And seagrass? Mmm, I oh, love seagrass. Mm. You know that already. You can't move without seagrass <laughs> when you've been here. So what do you think of the bathroom? Hey, interesting floor. I think that's fantastic. And also, it's, it's, you know, it's very comfortable. It's a warm, warm tile. Yeah, yeah, it's quite busy. But truthfully, I mean, they had a nice suite here. Gray, nice and neutral. But the bathroom looked very old and dingy. Yeah, it did. And it now, doesn't now. Really, it looks brand new. It's good, though, because this is the expensive thing. We don't want to replace exactly. it. Exactly. And now a buyer is not going to think they have to spend a lot of money mm. in here. Moving right along yep. to this narrow this passageway. Is, this was the problem. The house is quite long and narrow, isn't mm. it? But this mirror. You know where we found this? You're not going to believe this. This was out in the garden, oh, hidden behind some bushes. <laughs> Mirroring the garden, making the garden look bigger. Exactly. Well, we cleaned it up, put a frame around it, and I think it's a fabulous addition. Can't have too many mirrors. You can't. <laughs> too many what? Mirrors. <laughs> mirrors. This is nice flowers. Nope, the color scheme. Mm -hmm. And the kitchen. Hey, and now this is clever, because we were looking at an ugly wall, weren't we? Yeah, that was really easy. Put it on with a film. Yeah. And just went on, you know, five, ten minutes, and you've got a fabulous etched window. But I think really the, the kitchen was the weak link in this flat. Mm. And obviously, with our budget and our time frame, and also the fact that the house is selling, you're not going to replace the entire kitchen. We made it look as good as it possibly can. Put some new lighting in. How do you like the color? It's good. The green and the gray. I wouldn't have put those together, but they work really well. It makes it quite fresh. The box room. No boxes. Voila. All gone, cleaned up, neat and tidy, a proper office. Excellent. Shall we move on? Yeah, show me the sitting room. Do you remember here, they had a, a table and a little study area. This is a tricky space though, isn't it? Because it's really just nothing. It's a pass-through. Yeah. So I think what you want to do is make it feel open, pleasant and uncluttered. Again, mirroring is fabulous. I'm trying to make the flat look it's bigger, a bit longer you know? and wider. Hey! You know, I'm Alistair, I've always thought it was a good idea to save the best till last. You have. I am so pleased with the way this room turned out. And the color scheme goes right the way through. It's through. almost as if someone planned it. Yeah. But look at the furniture arrangement now. Do you remember it had the big sofa on the side and, you know, it just didn't look like anything. And now you've made it wide. So you've got a proper sitting area as well as a dining area. And you've taken this Chinese zeny thing to extremes. I love it. Very and nice. Very special. And look what Will did to the radiator. Hey. He was really helpful, actually. He covered the radiator. We made this little shelf and then boxed it all in with the same material that he finished his screen with. He so did that, too. We kept him busy, definitely. Gosh. He... I love this scarlet and black. Very attractive. Super sexy. What do you think of the garden? Now, this, this is a great selling point for the house, isn't it? Because the house is quite long and narrow, and then you have all this space at the end. And before, it was completely overgrown, and I really think that's one main reason why the house didn't sell. It's great, because it's also not too overlooked. It's a beautiful space. Lots of privacy. You have done wonders. Now, Will, you've been working here hard all week. How's it been for you? I just got on with it and did what Anne said, really. Really? Yeah, pretty much. Well, after a while, I started to see that everything she... all her ideas were working, you know, so... It sort of depersonalised the place 
in a very positive way, I think, for people yeah. to come in and yeah. and see it as theirs, maybe. God, you're, you're actually starting to sound like Andrew. Yes. I know, well, I believe I'm a convert. <laughs> <laughs> So that's what Will and Steph think, but what about those viewers? How are they going to react? Wow. It looks great. This is really nice now, isn't it? Yeah. Like this Japanese thing going on again. Yeah, it's nice to have a separate dining area. Yeah. The screen. It is not the same place. Incredible. Yeah, this is so much nice, isn't it? Yeah. Bright, clean. The kitchen looks an awful lot bigger. Yeah. It really does look a lot bigger than it did before. It's perfect. It's perfect. You get the whole of Brixton coming out here, mate. Uh, it's <laughs> lovely. Sure. Oh, now, this is a hundred thousand <laughs> times better. Yeah. It was such a nightmare before. Incredible. It's astounding what's been done. Mm. I'm, I'm amazed. It's a lot lighter. It feels yeah. a lot lighter and more spacious. It's opened up a lot, definitely. Yeah. The sitting area is very nicely done. And as, when you sit down, you have dinner, you can have a look at the garden and everything. It's a little thing that makes a difference and make you feel home. Beautifying Brixton, Anne spent £250 on labour, £200 on accessories, £120 on pebble flooring, £150 on paint, £225 on her favourite seagrass matting, and £75 on a gardener, making a grand total of just over £1,000. I've got a little present for you just before you go. Oh, fantastic. I love getting presents. That's wow. A... That's absolutely gorgeous. It's a little Japanese print I printed. You did this? Yeah. Thank you so much. Get it framed and put it up on my wall. <laughs> And as you can imagine, since the house doctor left, Will and Steph have had a lot more viewers and are expecting a sale very soon. Join us next week from Chippenham, where Anne diagnoses an almost terminal case of clutter, clutter, and yes, you've guessed it, clutter. By the end of this week, we'll cure you. <laughs> <laughs>